grade 10, science, unit 13, the world of life. This is part two. Already we have finished part one. I am Venilan from Hindu College. Here we will discuss 60 questions. The world of life, the classification of organisms. First one, we think about the kingdom plant. What is the important feature of a plant? What is the important feature of a plant? So the plant have cells, they are eukaryotic. The plant cell possess cell wall with cellulose. Cellulose is the major component found in plant cell wall. Second one, what is the important feature of a plant? So plants appear in green color because they possess chlorophyll, green color pigment. Say the use of green color pigment in plants. Say the use of green color pigment in plants. What is the use? use? They possess chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the green color pigment. The chlorophyll absorbs light energy, especially the solar energy, and produces food. The simple sugar is the glucose by photosynthesis. Next one, write the classification of kingdom plantae. When we, when we uh, think about the classification, the plant mainly divided into two. First one is non-flowering plant, other one is flowering plant. Flowering plant has two categories. First one is seedless plant. Example, Salaginella, Salvinia, Drymeria, like that. Seeded plant, Ficus and Pinus, but not flowering. Flowering plant, the angiosperm, are two types. First one is dicot, dicotinous, mango, orange, legumes, like that. Monocot plant, paddy, coconut, sugarcane, like that. So this is the very simple classification of kingdom plant A. The classification of plant A, we can classify like this one also, non-flowering plant, flowering plant. The flowering flowering plant may be forbearing plant, uh, naked seed, those are called the gymnosperms. The flowering plants are known as angiosperms. Uh, write the non-vascular plants that do not produce flowers and seeds. Non-vascular means they don't have xylem or phloem. So one example is Marcantia. Marcantia. Second one is Poganatum, the true moses. These are non-vascular. They don't have vascular tissues such as phloem, xylem like that. But they have mass of cells. They are eukaryotic, but they don't have vascular system. No flowers, no seed. Next one, what are the structural features of non-flowering seedless plant? Non-flowering seedless plant. So you know the example we studied Marcantia. Those are some plants, lack of tissue, no tissue. Uh, no differentiation, no stem, no leaf and root. Real stem, real leaf, they don't have real stem, they don't have real leaf, they don't have real root. These plants are known as thallus. So here you can see the growth of Marcantia. So the growth of Marcantia, you can see, listen carefully, here the structure is look like liver. So these plants are known as liverworts also, liverworts also. So this body structure is known as thallus. No real leaves, no real roots, 
no real stem so this is best example for non flowering non vascular seedless plant what are the two types of non flowering vascular plant what are the two types of non flowering vascular plant non flowering seedless plant example selaginella next one is non flowering seed plant non flowering seed bearing plant example cycas these are known as gymnast terms next question uh, write five example for non flowering seedless plant non flowering seedless plant first one selaginella fern selaginella second one drain area second one is drain area third one is third one is acrosticum these are non flowering seedless plant seedless plant but vascular plant they have vascular system the same question write five examples for non flowering seedless plant the fourth example is salvinia salvinia commonly found in fresh water that is floating plant salvinia next one nephrolepis nephrolepis so these five examples are for non flowering seedless plant but having vascular tissues write four features for non flowering vascular plant non flowering vascular plant plants possess different vascular tissues vascular means xylem and phloem they possess stem leaves roots those stems leaves roots are real one small plant some are large plant some are fern so okay the reproduction method of non flowering seedless plant asexual reproduction by spores fragmentation of vegetative parts fragmentation next one sexual reproduction also next question write the nutrition method of non flowering seedless plant flowering method so you now they are autotrophs ola autotrophs ola photosynthetic some are epiphytes here you see this in this diagram this is dry area this is dry area what are the two types of seed vascular plant gymnosperm and angiosperm gymnosperms are non flowering seed plant angiosperm flowering seed plant so in gymnosperm the seed of this plant are not covered by foot are not covered by foot seeds are naked seeds not covered by foot. therefore they are known as gymnosperm plants that produce flowers are known as flowering plants the seed that are produced by flowers it is sexual reproductive structure of the flowering plant they are covered by the seeds are covered by foot therefore they are termed angiosperm next one the examples for non flowering seed plant example cycas cycas is one of the example for non flowering seed plant a gymnosperm another one pinus pinus also non flowering seed plant what is gymnosperm so you know one example is cycas so what is gymnosperm so gymnosperm the seed of this plant are not covered by a foot gymnosperm is seed producing plant that induce includes conifers cycad they do not produce flowers or fruit but the seed are naked example cycas pinus what are the characteristics of gymnosperm they do not produce flowers gymnosperm not produce flowers seeds are not formed inside a foot 
they are naked field they are found cooler region where snow fall occur they develop needle like leaves they are perennial or woody plant forming trees or bushes they are not differentiated into ovary style or stigma so next one what are the two types of flowering plant one is monocotyledonous plant example maize sugarcane grass paddy like this the dicot plant mango jackfruit tamarind the legume plant all are dicot plant what is the difference between dicot and monocot plant in seed leaf seed leaf so you see here the maize seed maize the maize seed is one of the examples for monocot plant they have single cotyledon in the seed but in the dicot plant you can see two cotyledons in the seed two cotyledons in the seed the best example soya bean kadale dal like that what is the difference between dicot and monocot stem stem the dicot and monocot stem monocot stem is unbranched but dicot stem branched what is the difference between dicot and monocot in root system so here the monocot root system no tap root possess fibrous root system fibrous root system example to the cane onion grass paddy like that but in the dicot plant they have tap root system and the lateral root also example mango tree like that what is what, what is the difference between dicot and monocot in flowers so here the monocot flowers are dreamers the petal a tree three petals are there this example is coconut flower coconut flower dreamers flower but in dicot tetra or pentamerous flower pentamerous mean five petals found in the flower what are the features of kingdom animalia animalia so they are multicellular organisms which do not possess the chlorophyll they are eukaryotic organisms cell wall is absent mode of nutrition is heterotrophic that means they depend on other organisms for food they have a uh, muscle cells due to which they have capability to con- contract and relax the body parts for movement name the two groups of kingdom animalia this is a major group what is first one first one is the invertebrates so invertebrates in the organism without a vertebral column is known as invertebrate second one the vertebrate vertebrate an organism with a vertebral column is referred to as vertebrate invertebrate can be classified into five groups what are the five groups of invertebrate phylum cnidaria or cylindrata phylum annelida phylum mollusca phylum arthropoda and phylum echinodermata so now think about the phylum cnidaria so first we study the example hydra second one is sea animal third one is jellyfish all these animals are found in sea water or marine water so the nidarian the special features the body build up of two germinal epithelial layers two germinal epithelial layers so these are known as diploblastic animals therefore they are known as diploblastic animals there are two forms the body has two forms medusa and polyp medusa can move easily while the polyp attached to surface 
next one the nematocyst or nidocyst present polar predator attacks small organism to paralyze them using nematocyst or nidoblast nidoblast or nidocyst so here you see one example the polyp polyp this is hydra this animal is known as hydra this animal is known as hydra this is one of the example for uh, one of the example for seal and rat polyp is sicil life the sicil life cycle and uh, adult a uh, coral and the sea anemone for example for polyp they are attached for they are attached in a permanent place on rocks another example is sea anemone this is also polyp form this is also polyp form sea anemone the polyps are sicil life cycle sicil means attached form attached form so this is the polyp form example is sea anemone next one the medusa form of seal and rat so this example is jellyfish this example is jellyfish they are free swimming form not attached medusa form or jellyfish medusa is a mobile life cycle mobile life cycle stage of the species belonging to the nidaria phylum or cilandrata phylum cilandrata next and what is mean by coral reef coral reef are found in cilandrata coral reef what is mean by coral reef what is coral reef so coral reef are built by and made up of thousands of tiny animals a uh, coral polyp coral polyp they are related to anemone anemone see anemone like that polyps can live individually in large colony that comprise an entire reef structure coral reef so that is a exoskeleton so here also you can see another polyp form see anemone so here the coral reef an underwater ecosystem characterized by uh, characterized by uh, reef building coral so here you see the coral reef are formed of colonies or coral polyps held to the calcium carbonate most coral reefs are built from thorny coral next one what is Uh, the reproduction method of hydra so hydra is one of the example of cilandrata so this reproduction method is known as budding this reproduction method is known as budding so in this clip you can see clearly the budding this is asexual production so hydra reproduces asexually by budding and sexually by formation of gametes next question what is nematocyst so nematocyst is the special feature of cilandrae so what is nematocyst so nematocyst are predominantly used for prey capture and defense prey capture and defense but also help in locomotion locomotion so this example is hydra the nematocyst help to catch prey and defend next one i write three example for annelid phylum annelida first one is the earthworm second one is the leech third one is nereus third one is nereus Right for example, or no, the important features of an animal. Important features of an animal. Body is divided into segments. 
internally and externally therefore they are known as segmented verbs this is very very important feature of analysis second one therefore they are known as triploblastic because a cylinder or worm like body tt found only in analyst tt help them in movement so what is mean by coelom and what is the use of the coelom coelom there is a fluid filled cavity between body wall and the digestive tract this is known as the coelom it provide an independent movement for the gut gut wall respectively to the body movement so especially the coelom helps for the movement and the free movement of the internal body part here you see the earthworm what is mean by segmented worm so that is a special feature of the phylum annelida so what is mean by what is mean by segmented worm typically the external groove corresponded to internal partition called the septa to which divide the internally body space into series of compartment so that is called segmented worm another segmented worm is the nerius nerius also segmented worm phylum annelida so that is also the body is divided into segments internally and externally therefore they are known as segmented worm name five animals in mollusk phylum mollusca a lot of examples are here here you see phyla the garden snail uh, like that uh, octopus chitin these are molar snail octopus squid clams oyster so there are three important features of molar the body is divided into head muscle of foot and visceral mass the body is not divided into segment this is the most important feature of the mollusk the body is moistened by mucus mantle the cover body cover it is thin fleshy called of dorsal body wall more or less covering the body so this is special feature of the mollusk some mollusk possess internally and external shell the exoskeleton made up of calcium carbonate so when we think about the most important feature one important feature of mollusk what right one important feature of mollusk what do you write so the body is divided into head muscular foot and visceral mass no segmentation there what is the mode of nutrition in mollusk the mode of nutrition they are heterotrophic you know they are heterotrophic the garden snail eat the products the farmer and uh, act as sometimes pest so here most mollusks are herbivores grazing on alga or filter feeders so this is a mode of nutrition of mollusk heterotrophic all are heterotroph so another one the marine habitat right one marine habitat mollusk right one marine habitat mollusk that is cuttlefish example is cuttlefish give another example of marine mollusk this is most common you know this example this is known as octopus octopus also found in sea water or marine water that is example for mollusk what is the major chemical composition of exoskeleton of mollusk major chemical composition of mollusk calcium carbonate the major chemical composition is calcium carbonate some mollusks possess internal and external shell made up of 
calcium carbonate next we think about the phylum arthropoda phylum arthropoda so this is very important phylum in animal kingdom so examples are insect insect we are familiar familiar with a lot of insects those are arthropods another one the crab so here you see the jointed leg jointed appendages crab mostly found in marine water mostly found in marine water crab this is another example for arthropod next one the millipede millipede here you can see clearly the jointed appendages jointed appendages this is another example this one is the another example for arthropod write some examples of arthropod insecta class insecta crab copian copian another one is spider so some of the example uh, other examples also millipede centipede so now we think about the special features important features of arthropod right four important features of arthropod they possess jointed limbs it is very important jointed limbs there is quite you no know, cuticle on the body it acts as exoskeleton body is segmented and several segments collectively form functional segment is called tagma tagma so head thorax and the abdomen uh, what is the largest group of invertebrate animals largest group arthropods definitely arthropods another one uh, the arthropods 70 percentage of animal species belong to this phylum 75 percentage of animal next question what is the largest class of arthropod in animal largest class definitely insect the class insects of this phylum arthropod possesses the highest number of uh, organisms insects so insects sometimes harmful sometimes helpful what is the benefits of insects what is the benefit of insects here you see the honey bee so the flowers flower so they help in pollination pollination so you know the meaning of pollination there are gametes found in flowers pollen grains and uh, egg or ova found in ovaries so the pollinate crop we really rely on food what do you mean clearly honeybee are clearly among the most important of pollinators and uh, their efforts result in an uh, estimate 80 percentage of all pollination so the insects help us for pollination and the production of seed fruits like that what are the harmful effects of insects harmful effects so this one very harmful for the farmers they are very harmful for the farmers you know they have different stages in life cycle larva pupa like that the worms eat crops and uh, if leaves are not addressed they will eat leaves down to the stem flea or beetles can attack most vegetables so other harmful effects also there so here the some kinds of beetle termites they feed on natural fiber they feed on natural fiber they destroy destroy wooden building material they ruin stored grain stored grain also destroyed by this pest they all also inflicting bites 
missing and uh, transmitting disease also so the benefit and the harmful effects are there next we think about the phylum echinodermata so this is the most common and well known example starfish well known example starfish so phylum echinodermata next one another example this animal is known as brittle star brittle star so this animal found in uh, marine habitat next one you know the sea cucumber sea cucumber some people take as food sea cucumber this is another example for a canadometa phylum a canadometa next one the sea urchin this one also best example for uh, a canadometa so he has special features what are the special features of a canadometa they possess sharp spiny body covering a kind means spiny derm means body covering so a spiny body covering body is separated into five radial arms so the body shows penta radial symmetry penta means five five penta radial symmetry a highly distributed water vascular system this is another important point water vascular system is present in the body another one the tube feet present only in a canadome so here what is the use of tube feet here you see the best example you know the well known example is a uh, starfish the tube feet present for locomotion and reproduction tube feet present for locomotion and respiration the tube feet connected with the water vascular system also now we think about the vertebrate vertebrate this is a special feature basic structure of all vertebrate the special feature is the dorsal not awkward dorsal not awkward dorsal spinal cord dorsal spinal cord ventral heart ventral heart uh gill slit gill slit and the post anal tail these are the important features of all vertebrate the five classes of vertebrate what are the five classes of vertebrate this is amphibia reptilia apes and mammals class this is class amphibia class reptile class a class mammalia so thank you for watching this video uh, better to share your comment thank you very much